This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys and welcome back. Well, in this video we're going to do a slightly more complex uh, modeling technique uh, where we're going to manually model a spiral. Okay, Now that is uh, something you can do in more than one way in Maya, uh, but this is a technique that I want to share with you guys today. So uh, let's check it out. Here we go. Okay guys, here we go. We're going to start with a uh, polygon cylinder. We're going to hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. And that one is down here. And we'll just move that over a little bit. We're going to set, uh, let's see, subdivision 20. That's fine. We'll increase the height a little bit in sections. We'll increase the overall height as well. Let's do something like that. And then we'll increase the height divisions until we get something that looks like a uh, square, pretty much. And then let's see on the caps, we'll leave that at one. Actually, we'll set that to zero. That's fine. Okay. So that's our starting point. What we're going to do is we're going to close this out and close that out. And we're going to go in and we're going to right click, get a face, select the top face, shift, select the bottom face, hit control E to extrude, set the offset to 0.3. And then hit Control E to extrude and R the scale out, which will give us this. All right. Now I want to bevel those edges, so I'm going to switch views to this view. I'm going to right click at an edge, drag select, and shift drag select to deselect that. So we only have the top edge. Same here, drag select, shift to drag select. So now I have the edges selected top and bottom. And then in addition, I'm going to shift double click on this one and shift double click on that one. Okay. We're going to go to edit mesh and bevel and we're going to tweak that fraction. Let's set that to 0 0.2, maybe even less than that 0 0.1. And we'll do three in the segments okay so we get that nice beveled edge right okay so what are we going to do next this is a bit tedious what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to um, do that from this view here we're going to go in right click at a vertex drag select all the vertices except the top and bottom row and then we're going to go to um, Edit Mesh and under Vertex to Chamfer Vertices, okay? Which will give you a view looking like this. We're going to change the width to 0 0.5, which will give us this pattern right here, okay? And then we're going to go in and we're going to start to select those faces. So I'm going to right click on the face and then I start here and I'm going to work my way down like this. And like this and so on okay and I'm gonna work my way all the way down I'll just quickly pause the video until I have that done and I'll be back in a sec here we go hey guys seems that I have them all all right cool and then next step is we're gonna hit control E to extrude and we're gonna increase the thickness so we're gonna drag that slider and we don't want to go nuts on that but we do want to make sure that it's significant enough and I just want to make sure that everything's clean here so let's try a little less let's try 0 0.3 and let's see what our options are 0 0.2 let's do 0 0.25 and then let's see if we can tweak that offset a little bit 0 0.06 yeah perfect okay now we're talking that's fine I'm just going to right click at object mode and do a quick preview smooth to see what we get, which looks pretty nice. Hit one to go back. We're not quite there yet. And now we're going to do is we're going to jump in from this view here. We're going to make sure that our grid is on. We're going to go to insert edge loop option box multiple and we'll set that to one for the simple reason that it will be centered. Okay, so we'll do one here and we'll do one here. Okay, 
Then we're going to jump back into this view, hit Q on our keyboard, and we're going to right click, we're going to get a face, and then we're going to select every other face on this top section here. Okay, and then we're going to go down here and we want to have the same faces selected. Have to zoom in. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit control E again to extrude. We'll do 0.2 on the thickness. Let's see. That's about right. Then the offset, 0.03, maybe a bit more, 0.06, it's better. And then let's see what else. The local translate, we'll leave that alone, all right? So this is basically our guy here. I'm going to right click it to object mode, hit three to preview smooth and let's see what we get. You can see that at the top here, we want to have a little bit more detail. So what I'm going to do there is go to uh, enter edge loop, option box, multiple and set that to two. We're going to add two right there. Switch views to here, hit F to zoom in, hit R to scale up pretty much to the edge there and then we're going to go down here and we're going to do the same right there and again hit R to scale that up okay now we do have hit Q on the keyboard we do have uh, N-GONs here, so we're going to go to um, Mesh and uh, Clean Up and hit Clean Up and we'll get these triangles up here, that's fine. And then we're going to right click at Object Mode, hit 3 to Preview Smooth, have a look. I'm not even convinced that we absolutely have to, but let's have a look here. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so instead of preview smooth, we're going to go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth. And we can go with a fairly high subdivision level. So let's set that to two. Okay. So there is our uh, worm gear. Okay. It's quite high poly, as you can see, but uh, it's pretty cool. I'll just uh, rotate it. So we can look at it like this. And this is just a technique that you can do uh, when you want to model something like this. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful for you guys. And if you've got any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.